caught you on there. It's okay. It happens. This is boxing after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, and you took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Son, that rip ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass, yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. What a challenge for us. as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer. Solid. Oh! 
Bishop's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Halfway through round number one. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Matchup in front of us tonight, Teddy, a power puncher against a guy who's very well conditioned. Now, early on in the fight, what do you look for out of the power puncher? To take his power, you know, it's not just power, it's where you distribute that power. If I'm in the corner of the power guy, I want to distribute it downstairs to the body. No better way to sap somebody's endurance, mentally and physically, than going downstairs. Teddy, he's been staggered and stunned, and now these flailing arm shots. Yeah, he's going to leave himself more wide. Wow! Andre Bishop is on the receiving end of a power shot that scored the knockdown. Teddy Bishop beats the count, but how does he look to you? He looks like a guy who's wondering what happened, and that's where the job of the corner comes in when he gets back to the corner. Tell him why he got hit. Savone is able to land a good, solid left hand. Oh, and there you go. He goes down. Oh, he didn't get close here. Can he survive the round? Get up. Two, three, four, five. Get up, get up. And the dream for Andre Bishop becomes a nightmare. A knockout loss. One love, one game, one desire, one flame, one bonfire, let it burn higher. I never show signs of fatigue or turn tired. Cause I'm the definition of tragedy turned triumph. It's David and Goliath. I made it to the eye of the storm. Feeling torn like they fed me to the lions. I served my full sentence. I lost my youth, I lost my career, I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Okay. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, Andre welcome, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight on your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. 
Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? It's supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. This shit wasn't low. Fuck you, know about it anyway. You ain't even fighting no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you doing? Raymond, get out of the ring. I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to. Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks.
want to see me? Have a seat. <coughs> you sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I going to do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, oh, Gus. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. Now they get to do it for real. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they've been, they've been waiting, waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. underway. Talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with one, two, boom, boom. Oh, man. He is not meant for life on the outside there. And he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Chavez is rising back up. That takes some guts. Way to block there. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Use the ring. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Well, in the hand, the right hand. One of the 
fastest punches in the big shot. The right came clean. Antonio Chavez's corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Oh! Chavez is unable to withstand that combination. That's what happens when you cover a little slow. Now he's got to avoid his opponent like the black play. Andre Bishop. Wow. Chavez is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Listen, the fighter's always going to argue, but Teddy, that's a referee doing his job, stopping a fight that should be stopped. Yeah, better too soon than too late, and I think this was right on time. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside. That seems, seems a bit premature, premature, but there's no, no arguing with Frost's record. record. Undefeated, all his wins, wins come by knockout. Quite a feat. In, in other, other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? prison. And can, can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fast stories in sports. Well, of course, I have to for you here on Friday Night Fights. Action headlining our fight card here at the Mexico City Plaza in the heart of Mexico City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. What a curious path it's been in the career of Andre Bishop. Remember, a middleweight prospect now fighting his second fight as a heavyweight. He will do so tonight against Raul Castillo. So round one is underway between Bishop and Castillo. We'll give you something to look for, at least what we've been hearing out of the Bishop camp, is that they're very conscious of the body punching of Castillo. So look for Bishop to try to defend that well. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? You, or is that your expectation? Look at that! He just went down! The end of the fight went out, and now he went down! Hey, it's okay, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Right now, just, just survived, survived, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he's put, put on the floor. A frustrating his opponent with great defense. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Well played, straight right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Big shot there. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? version of Andre Bishop is just as powerful as the middleweight version we used to know. A knockout victory now. He earns it over Raul Castillo. Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. 
I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. <laughs> Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. This next guy is a legit top 20 heavyweight. Now, people still think that you can't hang with the big guys. They think that uh, you're just a blown up middleweight. Well, I say fuck them. People say that I'm just maybe a, a crazy old man. And if you think about it, maybe they're right. Maybe I am just a crazy old man. But you know something? It isn't what people think, Andre. In boxing, it's about what you know. What you know in your gut, what you know in your heart, and I know in my heart, <laughs> you got what it takes. And I know in your heart, you know you got what it takes. When you come right down to it, all that matters is heart. <laughs> Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, John. My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. Very interesting to see if Andre Bishop is favoring that right hand because our video evidence clearly showed that he hurt that right hand. But the hand that you used probably 80, 90. Wow, and big shot. And he goes down for the first time tonight. This is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before it's gotten up to. And that will serve him because he has... Did you see that? And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? for Andre. So all eyes at the start of round number two now are on the right hand of Andre Bishop. Remember, our video replay showed clearly that he hurt that right hand, and yet another big shot comes in. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. This is nothing new to Bishop. He's been down in life and inside the ring, and he's gotten up. 
He knows how to behave. He's been in those circumstances. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. We've been watching this roller coaster ride of the career of Andre Bishop for so long. Now another dip. Can he rise up and continue on? This wasn't the best Andre Bishop we saw tonight. Here's what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he's severely injured. So this is a tough moment. For oh, it's got to hurt. Oh, that got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right? Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? So he was knocked down, but Andre Bishop is proving he doesn't want to be knocked out tonight. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. He's in distance. Johnson's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Wow! And that's it. What a way to end it. Teddy, this will be very interesting to see if Andre Bishop is favoring that right hand because our video evidence clearly showed that he hurt that right hand. But the hand that you use probably 80, 90% of the time is the left hand. That's the and bang, and away he goes. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. Well, this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up to. And that will serve him because he has... Big, big, big shot, shot comes crashing home. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? It can all change so fast in this game, and for Andre... So all eyes the start of round number two now are on the right hand of Andre Bishop. Remember, our video replay showed... Boom! Left hand comes home! Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. There it is! Look at the torque and power from that uppercut. It's Florida. He snapped that shoulder forward the way he's supposed to do it. This is nothing new to Bishop. He's been down in life and inside the ring, and he's gotten up. He knows how to behave. He's been in those circumstances outside the ring. And that what a big shot. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. for him.